Okay, let's call a meeting to order. Uh, approval. Do I have a motion for approval of the minutes? Motion to approve the minutes. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. That's okay. Okay, the first thing we have here is uh, Morgan Murphy Enterprises. Sarah Reamer? He Reamer? called they are not being able to attend this evening. It should be the note on here, eh? That's okay. Um, <laughs> did everybody read that police report? Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to see her. Yes. Okay, send it off for the, uh, the next council meeting. Um, <coughs> we got to get her in here. Okay, uh, then we have uh, Gregory Tans. We had discussed that. Uh, Move the place on file. The Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Motion to carry. Uh, okay, then we have James Henry. Yeah, come on up. Uh, can you write two of them here? Oh. Yeah, we have two of them, four and five. Mr. Okay. Chairman. <laughs> First question. Is, um, are you selling? I got it for sale, yeah. You have it for sale? Yeah. Okay, so as soon as you can get out, you want out, basically. Uh, well, you know, pushing my age, I think I should have been out a long time ago, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> you look pretty young to me. <laughs> okay. Do you know why you're here? Uh, I found out last Wednesday, and uh, I heard there was a little something to do with a glass or something in the bar. Yeah, there's two ladies right well, here. Well, there, there was two were, things. Yeah, there, there, there was, was one where the, the somebody somebody laying outside, outside the bar, so they were drinking in there? Yes, that's correct. And, and my understanding, and nobody from the bar called the police. I don't know. These two young ladies were here. Bo I mean, bo First both of them are here, and I have I'm, them I'm down here. For that Allow them to speak. Yeah, if so we could. If you'd okay. let them speak, please, I'd appreciate yep. it. Short on chairs. Yeah, we're here. Here, here. I'll stand. I'll stand. Oh, no, no, that's okay. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. <laughs> she, she can talk from there. That's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. That's yes. I didn't call the cops because I called them right. cats. Okay. And he fell outside. The cab called back and said that they were outside. I called at their request. It was a husband and a wife. Okay. Well, where was the wife in the? I didn't see a wife. I didn't see the police report. Wife police report. Police report at all. Oh, this is like a seventy-year-old man we're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His name is Gary. That was in the bar for like six, six hours. Six hours. I got there at seven o'clock. I called their cab at nine o six. At nine fifteen, they called back. And I told his wife that your cab is outside. She said, okay. And that was the last I seen. Next thing you know, I seen lights outside. So someone else called the cops. It wasn't me because I thought they got in the cab. Well, but and I have it. I called for my cell phone. I still have it on my phone. But see, the, the, the thing is that this person was that hammered that they just fell over on their face, which it sounds like in the report. And they were sitting there for six hours drinking. And I had no idea about six hours. Well, you hours. didn't, but whoever, well, whoever was there before, right. I mean... And I only served them was, one, and the wife ordered it. It was not him. So the, the wife wasn't drinking for six hours? She seemed fine. We're just seeing an overabundance of this uh, you know, highly intoxicated. In this case, you know, doesn't even have to say highly intoxicated. Mm -hmm. It falls on his face. You know, and, and uh, we're, we're just... So, well, first of all, it's against it's against the state law, right? You know, to serve somebody that's intoxicated, you know, more alcohol, mm -hmm. and so um, you know, you're going to have to start watching it. I mean, realize it's hard to tell somebody when they're they're drunk. Some people can sit there and be totally hammered, and you sure. can't tell. Sure. But obviously, if this person's falling in their face, there was indications that they were they shouldn't have been served. You know, and and, and I don't know if anybody that sits in a bar for six hours and, and have too much. Exactly, I know. Um, okay, just, uh, and then, well, let's see, the second report was... Did, did, real quick, did, did, the, All in bar, did the wife jump into the cabin and take off? No, 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 she was out there waiting. She was out there waiting with another patron, too, with the ambulance, yeah. yeah I wonder why they're not 
recorded into the police report. I don't know. The cop came in to talk to me. He asked me what happened. I told him what happened, and I showed him on my phone the timestamp of when I called the cab at their request. And, and when they called me back, as far as I knew, they got into the cab. And he said if he needed anything else from me, he'd come back in. And I didn't see him since. So <coughs> next thing you know, I, I get a phone call saying that I should come up here with Jim for today. So Anytime there's an incident that they're called in front, unless the bar calls mm -hmm. that they have a problem and then the police can... You know, rectify that problem. Then we don't bring them in. Okay. But if the if bar doesn't call, uh, you're trying to hide something. That's yeah. that's the way we see it. So. There was nothing to call on. They called in the cab. Okay. Okay. Then there, then there was the second one, where I mean, busted a glass and threatening people and everything. And, and I mean, the thing that jumps out on me on here is, uh, okay, who's uh, rumor? That's me. You, you didn't, you didn't want to have the police involved or. Howard didn't want anything to happen regarding the damage or the person when they were when you were asked uh, as far as complaint that that you banned them from the bar. Well, I think sorry, you told the police that if they got a hold of them to advise them that they were banned from the bar. Uh, you didn't want him arrested. You didn't want him arrested. So right here, advised she did not want him. Arrested for three dollars in damage to uh, glass and threat. I honestly didn't know how to answer that question, if I wanted to press charges or or not. Um, the way the officer spoke to me was, well, if you do this, this is what's going to happen over a three dollar glass being mm -hmm. broken. So, I con the one that called nine one one. You did. I did. Yes. But it's just you know. I yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know how to answer you know, that question, Mr. Chair. It it seems like more and more of, of these reports or these strange reports and things going on are getting more and more violent. And if 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 no one's going to prosecute these people, they're just going to come back or go to okay. another bar and well, do the same thing. Well, the same I'm thing, here right? today and to. So, but. Um, Right. I thought I did the right thing by calling the police. Alderman Wagle. Mr. Chair, I can't tell from the police report. This Jacob person, you yes, were that was his name. Was he there drinking, or did he just walked in the door and went off the air? Nope, <clears throat> he was there for, I'd have to say, two, two and a half beers. Okay. And he was quiet. He actually had earphones in his ear pretty much the whole time. He did play some pool um, with another gentleman. On Tuesday nights, we have free pool. Yeah, it's because the police officer, again, just in the police report, described him highly intoxicated. Okay, so now. Yeah, I, I disagree with that. Well, he, the police officer didn't even see the gentleman because the gentleman left before the police arrived, and I served him. Jennifer advised she has never met the male before, but heard his name was Jacob. Yes. Stated she stopped serving the male because he appeared to be highly intoxicated. That was those. Uh, that no. was your description, no, apparently. No, not not highly intoxicated. No, that's, because that's what the police report says because of the manner in which he spoke and the words that he chose to use threatening um, he spoke of his two two tours in Afghanistan yeah, he said he and, killed that, people and, and that he was yeah. a professional killer yeah. and he was gonna kill everybody here well that is yeah. a pretty high, highly threatened um, <coughs> statement to make no. so I understand that I, again as the police report states it seems like we had another highly intoxicated customer in a bar yeah, making trouble. I, um, yeah. I don't know if he drank before he was there, but he, um, two and a half beers, and he seemed sober to me. He was not slurring his words. He was not stumbling. And the, th the third beer that he was on, I, I took from him, besides the glass that he took and okay. smashed on the, f on the floor Anybody else? of the bar. I don't know. Oh, I thought you did. Yeah, I just okay. No, I one with all the other. Well, uh, just two right. things. Um, first thing is that you did make the comment that y you felt that he was <coughs> intoxicated, whether he was highly intoxicated or whether in your port. To me, that's a good thing. Okay. You did the right thing, sure. and then you did the next right thing is by calling nine one one when it started to get out of control. Absolutely. Fortunately, we didn't find the person. But sure. in my opinion is you you did the right thing. So um, I moved the place. What numbers are they? Four and five. Number four and five on file. Second. 
Okay, uh, just under further discussion, I just want to say you're going to have to start start watching the people and what they drink. And obviously, yes. if someone's in there six hours, you know, <coughs> I don't know anyway, it's, unless unless they're sitting there with two beers in six hours, you know how then you should throw them out anyways because you're not making <laughs> yes. money. Out. <laughs> <laughs> so. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Motion carries. Hope we don't see you for a while. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you wait. Okay. So you meet. So I'm fine. Oh, yeah. That's I'm it. Done with this. <laughs> Larry done. Belfus. Okay. Great. Belfus. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. On this is Alma Fry. She was on. Right. Okay. Yeah. She, 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 uh, she's um, on there for eight. the record, she's no longer employed by me, but. Uh, she, I did call her because she was on the report to show up, and she yes, felt that she would, should come uh, okay. because she does hold a license with the city of West Dallas, the bartender's license. Okay, going through these. Uh, <coughs> the first one was oh, the two, uh, the two women fighting, and um, well, one trying to help the other one out, and they end up fighting. Is that the? <coughs> I think you have the wrong report. Yeah. This, no, this is the uh, gun incident. No, no. This is the, this. No. Is, there's, yeah. two there's, there's two of them. Oh, I never. I skipped to the gun incident. I don't Sorry. know which. Yeah, I don't know which one you're referring okay, to. Okay, this one here <coughs> is from uh, twelve two. Uh, disorderly conduct for patron. Uh, offender was Jody Tinkler. Uh, uh, trouble call from the bar. Uh, Here's the report. Yeah. That. Alma, is that? Alma? Yes. Yeah, she, she she called in a fight in the bar with, with them going on. Um, which, which was the right thing to do. I remember that. <coughs> I remember that. Okay. And once again, we have the, uh, we have the intoxicated person. In the bar, I was looking for the summary reports that kind of run together after a while. Because that's the one where said there was a pill. Yeah, they found a pill bottle. Yeah. Um, Jody Tiegler. Okay, it, it, it's pretty much that, you know, here is here was a person who was, was highly intoxicated or very intoxicated that caused the problem. And, uh, you know, once again, you know, as far as serving these people, you know, I'm not a bartender, never been a bartender. I know, you know, it's hard to tell, but still, uh, you gotta, gotta cut these people off earlier. They did walk in, and I didn't realize they were that intoxicated until after I served them their first drink. And mm -hmm. then I said to them, after they came out of the bathroom, I said, you know what, I'm sorry, but you need to finish your drink and you're gonna have to go. I, I wasn't gonna serve them anymore, and that's when she became irate with me. Okay. Uh, then the other one, <coughs> the other one, Mr. Moore. Chair. Yeah. If that is what happened, then I applaud you for that, and that, I that did, that's not and reflected in the in the police report. <laughs> I told so the cops that day okay. that night. She was actually she almost came behind the bar to attack me, and that's when another patron grabbed her, and that's when those two ladies started fighting. Because okay. that's not in the police report. Yeah. So that's what we don't we didn't we don't know that. If that's what happened. Yeah. And as Alder Metropolsky said, somebody walks in the bar, you can't tell. Not right two away, but away. then after, yeah. but after a few minutes, a little after observation, I gave that first drink, I said, yeah, you finish yeah, we your want drink, you, you we go. want you to be able to look for that and seeing that and cutting people off. So. Okay, the, the second one with the gun is why wasn't the police called? That That's that's the thing to me. I mean, I, I mean, uh, the the one, the, the gentleman in here said he told, not you, but the other bartender, to call the police. And then you had come out, out of the... The restroom. the restroom and no one called the police and to me th this is this is a pretty serious because you, mm -hmm. you know you got a, a drunk guy putting a gun to somebody's you know you don't know if it's loaded or not but if it is loaded it could have been an accident but th this this is quite serious and no one calls the police well she can't answer for uh, my other bartender but I can after the incident I interviewed both bartenders I found out that Alma contends that she was in the restroom at the time of the incident. Um, the other bartender said that the incident happened so fast and she was busy taking care of customers that before she even knew what was going on, the incident was taken outside. 
Um, and then she had found out that uh, one of the, our customers, another patron, is the one that called the police. Mm -hmm. Now, all my bartenders know, you know, and have been informed to call the police if anything like this ever happens, you know, any kind of incident where the police should be called. They are aware of that. And uh, had she known what was going on, she would have called the police. Um, but it happened so quick, they didn't even know what was going on. Um, well, until the guy said, outright, he, he yelled to the other person, though, to, to call the person that said she yeah. didn't say anything to call the police. And, and it just, and neither, it seems to be like, the, it seems to me almost that there's like a number of, of times during this report where this person was provoking other people. I don't know, is, is that a common thing where you have somebody that's in your bar provoking other people Well, uh, before he even pulled out the gun uh, on this other person? There was some friction between the guy that was accused of pulling out the gun and um, the, uh, the other guy that was involved. He took the gun away. And also the other guy that called the police. He was an ex- um, tenant of the guy that was accused of pulling out the gun and he I to my knowledge was evicted for not paying his rent and they were both in the bar at the same night at the same time and I think that's where some of the friction was happening was between those two as well it's still the the one the guy that is accused of pulling out the gun Mark Shallow he still contends that the gun was stolen out of his house by this other person and he brought the gun into the bar. I don't know what the truth is. I've been trying to learn the truth myself forever because Mark was a customer of mine for a long, long time. He lives right next door. Mm -hmm. And if he, you know, I found out him to be innocent of the matter, I'd like to let him back into the bar. But, um, but uh, after the incident, I did ban both Mark Shallow and um, the other, uh, what's his name? The, uh, Adam, Adam, Adam uh, out of the bar. Yeah. Because you know, I mean, I don't want. Yeah, to that was that was gonna be another one of my questions. Because yeah, yeah geez, sure business is hard enough where you don't need people. It is absolutely good stuff, you know. So. But um, yeah, I mean, we that that's the re only reason why the police weren't called by my bartenders because it, it happened so quickly and it was and and before uh, um, Tabitha knew what was going on, my other bartender, she uh, the incident was taken outside. And then she had learned that uh, one of the other customers had called the police. Mm -hmm. So, but they're all well informed, you know, of making sure that they call the police if anything happens. You see a firearm, you got to call immediately. Oh, absolutely. Snap the finger. But nobody's seen it. I mean, no, no, none of my bartenders anyway. But yeah, I agree with you. That's that's a big no-no there. I mean, that's one of the worst. Anybody else have any? Mr. Chair, all in one. Um, I absolutely agree that in this case, where the weapon was pointed at uh, uh, supposedly at one person and then another, the police need to be called. But I don't want anybody to believe that we're saying you can't have a gun in a tavern. You can't have a gun in a tavern when you're drinking, but but can, people with CCWs are allowed to carry a weapon a, a lot of places, including a lot of bars. Mm -hmm. Okay. So just seeing a gun, I mean, if you're concerned, certainly call the police. Yeah, and it's, it's certainly in this case where there was wrestling, wrestling over it and all that. Yeah, but looking, yeah, yeah. My, my, uh, if, if you're drinking, I don't. Right, if, if you're drinking, you yes, cannot, you're not. You, you cannot. cannot yes, have a weapon. yes, but but, uh, and I guess there's a charge on here of handgun going, taking a handgun where alcohol is served. I don't think you could take a handgun into a bar. I'd have to look at the statute, but I don't think you could take one in there at all. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. I have, I have some friends who are pretty far over on one side, <laughs> and, uh, and and that was I was surprised by that charge. Is that a is that a real charge? Taking a handgun into a t into a place where alcohol is served? I, yes, I believe so. I I thought it was up to the property owner. But anyways, and we'll settle that okay. at some some places. Yeah. I just I don't want to be sending that message. Okay. Uh, anybody else? The, the, Mr. Chairman, I'm, just to sum up, uh, Larry, I think you obviously know better, and I think uh, circumstances, if you would have been there, um, please, again, you see your bartenders. Uh, you've been in business how, how many? Uh, 14, 15, 16? In that location? 24th. 24th, that location. All right. And I think this is probably about the 15th report in the 24 years. So 
Uh, I'm going to move to place on file. Okay, that is uh, six and seven, and eight is Omar Fry's report. You know, because uh, <coughs> number six, seven, and eight place on file. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Watch your time. Thanks for coming in. Okay, you bet. Thank you. Thank you. Tina Mento. Okay, so you're you're taking over this bar. The other one did the other one even open? <coughs> Didn't no. for riders? Oh tailgaters? No. Tailgaters. Yeah. They, no. they never open at all. I I didn't think so. But uh but we have that the, the rec room, which was before the tailgaters, Correct. never turned in or surrendered their license yet. They didn't surrender it. No, I spoke to somebody here. It is on the wall. They told me to leave it on the wall until I came up again the second time and bring it and turn it in. I spoke to a clerk up front. Anybody can surrender that license? Or does it have to be the person that it was issued to? The person that was issued to, we asked to turn it in because we asked them to write a statement on the back saying they're surrendering it under their own free will. I can okay. get a hold of them. Okay. Yeah, well, you're going to have to because we can't issue you a license so without right. the surrender. Well, they just told me to hold on to it until yeah. I came back in. So. Okay. Uh, have you ever done this before? I currently own a bar in uh, Milwaukee for, at this my fifth year. Where in Milwaukee? On 31st in Greenfield. <laughs> Not that far away. I'm sure it's a lot bigger than this place. Not really. <laughs> no, really. <laughs> because this is a really small place. And What's the name of it? Yeah. The that, one no, at Greenfield? Good. Yep. Yeah. Hangovers with a Z. Hangovers with a Z. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, <laughs> we have the layout in there and everything. And, uh, the only thing I that I see, you know, when you when your people stand outside with the smoke, you know, they're pretty much on the city sidewalk. Correct. So you know, tell them to be courteous to everybody and everything. Correct. Had a little bit of problem with that at one time. Well, and that you have residential right next to you, too. So. I do have a question. There's yeah. a side area that is fenced in off of, the reg off of the residential and off of the street. Is it owned by you or leased by you? It, yeah. Is that a separate thing that I would have to, a separate permit that I would have to get so patrons can smoke there if I put a... Well, I... I think they. I think they can just go outside. You know, they don't have to be in the front. They can be in the back or something. Also, so, well, so on the side. <coughs> okay, National yeah. Avenue comes through the front. Yeah, which east side? side? Which side? Yeah, what's it's going to be east or west? It's going to be going east on the east side of the building. There's a fenced-in small area about from here to the window and back, and it's fenced in all the way around. As long as there's no alcohol there and there's no, uh, yeah, can't take uh, they can't take. They can't take the alcohol in there. And um, uh, you know, have an ashtray in there. Yeah, there's no reason they can't go in but there. Actually, yeah. Okay. Is All that right. the dumpster enclosure? No, the dumpster yeah. enclosure is way in the back, where you have to go through mm -hmm. the tenant's yard to get there. Okay. This part of land that I'm talking about is separated from the tenants mm -hmm. and separated from the city street. Mm -hmm. It's just like an area about this big. And a bar owns it. Yeah. That, that, that is yeah. that part of that land. And is it just a side door that goes out to it, or you got to go out mm -hmm. the back, or? Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know why they didn't use that before, but yeah. okay. that's that, what I was thinking. That would be good because no, no. once again, you guys, they still got to be courteous to the neighbors. Correct. But, you know, because there is somebody right to the east. Yeah, there's east behind. of it, there is, but there's a six-foot fence on that side mm -hmm. and in the back. And then in the front, it's like a four-foot chain fence. Mm -hmm. So it would be, if, you're, if I can see. It. Yeah. It would be, here's National Avenue. It's right here. It would be mm -hmm. this little section right here. Okay. And then what's next to that? Uh, there's a six foot fence, then there's a space, and then there's maybe a duplex right there. Yeah, yeah. duplex. It's, it's yeah, a duplex. Yeah, yeah, you know, just yeah, well, have to keep quiet there. Right. Yeah, that's, mm -hmm. so it's, it's, it's the only thing. So, yep, I'll I'll sure. I'll 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 um, The business would be called T and T Sports Bar. Yes, sir. Do you have a partner with a T initial, or is it no, a little like initial? Dynamite. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know how else to. It's hard trying to figure out one name, no. let alone trying to figure out two. And how long have you been down on 31st and Greenfield? Uh, this is my fifth year. Okay. Um, 
and you saw we had a couple other we had two other bar owners in here and you paid attention to the kinds of things that we're looking for from our licensees in the city here yes sir okay and are you gonna be working at a lot or a little or your staff uh, yeah. or I do have staff I mean I have staff at the one on 31st mm -hmm. in Greenfield but I do I am there every day um, on top of that I am a mortician so I'm a funeral director so I, I am on call mm -hmm. certain days so I'm pretty much I'm okay. always out and about and more. And you do know that a Milwaukee license is not good in West Dallas. So you have to, they have to get West Dallas licenses. Mm -hmm. Correct. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you're familiar with all the other rules about buying only from licensed wholesalers. Mm -hmm. That's and pretty much the same. Closing time isn't just a suggested thing. It's a, yeah. Right. Well, during the week at my bar currently, we close at midnight if we're not busy. Yeah. And on the weekends, we stay open. Okay. Anybody else? Do I have a motion? Move, move for approval. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Very opposed? Good luck. Okay. Have a good night. You yep. too. Okay. Uh, there is two number eights on tonight's agenda. There are. The last one was a number eight, and this one's a number eight, so. I apologize. Do you need to have a pronunciation on this next one? <laughs> uh, no, I just had to make Christopher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can bring all of my Sangstock yeah. back. Christopher, yeah, Christopher Chaplasky. No relation. Mm -hmm. No relation. <laughs> wow, man. that's pretty amazing. My grandfather's got the same exact. I bet you it's uh, Michael J. Chaplasky, correct? Yeah. Yeah, same exact thing. <laughs> <laughs> What's his wife's name? Gloria. Okay. <laughs> okay. Another <laughs> full parallel worlds. It's Gloria as well, Michael. And, and it's uh, probably no. <laughs> No relation anywhere. Well, Mr. Chairman, somewhere down the block. Yeah, how long was it? Um, looking at at your record, you 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 put on a possession ninety nine or so. You said on there. Yep. Um, but when we look at the record, there's actually three different things going on there. Um, I'm going to question you on it. Sure. You should have listed all three. Now, it's also possible that under one of the possessions, because then the next one's drug paraphernalia, Correct. they a added a charge, or is that a separate incident? Uh, based off the dates there, I'm not entirely clear of, I mean, I was... One would be November, now again, these might be prosecution okay. dates, Correct. November of 99, okay. and then 02 of 2000, and then there's another one, November of 2001. How many times have you been arrested for possession? I guess that's a good question. Twice. Yes. Okay. I believe one. Oh. Well, there's three. Yeah. And three. we're talking about just marijuana? Correct. I won't say just marijuana. No, I don't no. say yes. But here's, just. here's what I will say, yes, is yes. that I'm looking at the last one was 2001, this is 2015, yeah, well, sir, yeah. that's 14 years ago. Correct. After that, I see in 2013 you had a um, park, some kind of a parking thing in Milwaukee, I'm not even sure what it is, you, you were probably illegally parked. After that, I see absolutely nothing on your record. To me, I think you've learned your lesson. Correct. After 14 years with nothing on your record, I move that we place this on uh, approve, approve yeah. and place on file. I'm sorry. Move to approve. Do I have a second? Second. Uh, is there any further discussion on this? Uh, one of the problems that, that we have is that a lot of drugs are passed through bars. So we, uh, you know, obviously it's a long time ago, but you know, mm -hmm. otherwise, we, we, if this was just a few years ago, you wouldn't be getting it. Sure. You know, Especially, board, I, I apologize so. for not. But it just uh, creating all three of those things on my so while ago. But it was just well, yeah, 99 out. and 00. zero so, mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else have any further discussion? Yeah, the, uh, Mr. Chairman. Um, just now, uh, for the rest of the, there's other bartenders in here too, whether <clears throat> you get approved tonight or not. So you're going to get a little bit of the lecture. We don't have to do it to the rest of them. Sure. When you're tenant bar, make sure that you've heard tonight cooperating with the police. If you see something that's not just right, and it, instead of it escalating, make that call. Let the police handle it. Don't get yourself involved, especially again if you see a weapon or something like that. I mean, you know, definitely, you know, call right away. It's best that you head it off at the pass. Let the police take care of it. Then trying to take care of it yourself and say, okay, okay, I got, I got him. Calm down. You push him out of the bar and they start right up again, and then people get hurt. Mm -hmm. So it's really best to do that. Also, carding. Make sure you card everybody. You have the right to hold their ID until they leave. You have the right to ask the ID and. Call a police officer to verify whether or not it's it's you think that it might be fake or not. 
Um, usually, if you say, you know, I'm going to hold this in a little bit, I'm going to call the police, they're going to come in to verify this. If they go, give me that back, give me that back, guess what? They're going to leave and, you know, your problem's over. It's a pretty good trick. Um, the other thing is we do have a problem. Uh, uh, we, we have a program called Weed and Seeds. We actually send underage people in to the bars. Uh, we send them in to purchase cigarettes in, in uh, some of the stop and goes and gas stations and things like that. So at some point, somebody's going to walk into your to your bar while you're attending bar and attempt to buy something, and they are definitely going to be underage. So um, just be aware. Ask for those IDs on a regular basis. If you're not sure, again, you can hang on to it. You have the right. So I'm going to hold this until you leave. Because what happens if it is an illegal ID, they just hand it to their neighbor and they go, I had that ID. And then you're liable, not them. So that's my lecture. Anything else you want to add, Marty? <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I've heard that. But the other point that I'm, we're going to, I think we're going to start emphasizing more, you saw earlier we had customers highly intoxicated. That's one of our peeves. If we could cut down on that, we would have half as many police calls attacked. So. You just recently took a course for responsible serving, Correct. right? So you learned it's against the law to serve somebody that's drunk. Correct. You know that. Okay. So don't be afraid to cut them off. So and, yeah. and you're going to be working at Larry Michaels? Uh, that's correct, yes. Okay, so uh, we don't have a lot of problems there, but we don't want it either. So. Sorry. Okay, we had a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? Now this has got to go to the council uh, next week. Yeah, next week, Tuesday, and then they vote on it, and then, uh, let's see, 10 o'clock the next day after that is when you can pick the license up, or they'll be mailed to you. Next Wednesday? Next Wednesday, yeah. Correct. Okay. All right, great. Yep. If you don't pick it up by 3, it's automatically mailed out at 3 o'clock. Okay. You'll get it probably the next day. Yeah, so okay. Unless you so have a temporary now, you can't. I do have a temporary now. Okay. Okay. Yep, you were the sounding board, so. Oh, the rest that? of them don't oh, have to hear that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sure. Heard, yep. already heard it. Thank That's you. It. Yep, yeah. thank you. Caleb Fox. Caleb Fox. It's not a hard name to pronounce. You couldn't get a ride here, apparently. Yeah, no driver's license issue. Yeah. Okay, we'll hold that. A bus goes by. You know, so That's a two buses, though. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Ian Lin Lanrich? Lowridge? Ian. Ian Lowridge. Ian Lowridge. Ian. Lowridge. Ian. Lowridge. Lowridge. Oh, he doesn't strange. have a driver's license either. Yeah, he's got a little bit more there, too. <laughs> uh, and Jessica probably would be taking him away if he showed up. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, I know, right? And then, then there's the <laughs> Daniel. Or what? This is the one where this is Danny's that he's going to get a Move the place on file. Second. Uh, no, no, to no, approve, right? no, move to approve. Move to approve. Yeah. Second. Uh, okay, Any further good. discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Am I opposed? Uh, Tony Donaldson? Okay. This is a new request for our tender. Harry O still? Yes. <coughs> okay, and you know why you're come in front of us? No, I don't. Okay, when anybody applies for it and they have a OWI or, or any type of other violation on their police report, they automatically are called in front of the committee. You have two OWIs, Greenfield, and once again, they're, they're a while back, but three OWIs means you don't get a license. Mm -hmm. You know, and so, because uh, we look at it as that, if you're good enough, not a good enough judge for yourself, we can't expect you to be a good judge for other people. So, uh, let's see. Anything Mr. Chair? All in wild? Sister, you live in Stevens Point? Yes, I'm moving back to the Milwaukee area. Okay. So, you, just when you fill out the application, you hadn't found a place to live yet or didn't know I haven't sold my house yet. Okay. And you're really a Barzac? I was. Really? Mm -hmm. And, uh, okay, let's go through the chain. Because <laughs> I don't know who you are. Yeah. Ancestry.com. So, you, I, who are you related to? Uh, who's, who's? It is an ex marriage. Oh. That's how I got that. Okay, all right. So, so you're not by birth a Barzak. No. Got it. Mm -hmm. so, got it. So, you so you're not my long boss sister or anything like that. Right. And, uh, <laughs> and you got rid of them. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Mr. Chairman? Yes. You do have the two old WIs. The third would be three strikes are out, and we would be back here for revocation if you'd get that third one. They are a long time ago. I mean, the last one was 2000, so I move for approval. Do I have a second? Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? 
Thank you. You heard about when you can get it then? Council votes on it in a week from now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank so, you. So. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Dean Radis? Radis? Radis. 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 Okay, I was right the first time. And do you know why you're here? Yes, sir. Okay, we have two of them here, number 14 and 15 on tonight's agenda. Okay, the first one. Okay, let me see. I'm trying to get them together here. Okay, this is the first one where, well, this is the person. Christmas party gone wrong. Yeah, this is where it is. That was the second one. That was the second one? Yeah, that was the second, second one. one. My police report. Sorry, right. yeah. right. Well, first let's... one is a girl fight. Yeah. Both of them. Okay. Okay, which... So now I got next well, the, the first one is with the busting the glass across right. the face. December 14th. Right. And once again, okay. You know where from your bar called the police. What's that? From? You know where from the bar called the police. That's the thing. That, the uh, police responded to the hospital on that. The report one. came to the hospital. No one called the police from the bar, and it, it was even I, I thought it was a little odd because it's the one uh, one of the bartenders reported that uh, she was on the other side of the bar and she was busy. She didn't even know what was going on, but yet she cleaned up the glass. Yes. And there had to be blood there. If this person's uh, you know got a glass busted across their face and they didn't know what was, was going on. When I was here, uh, I don't know, it was two three years ago. That's, I mean, I, I instructed them all. Two, three years ago, you guys told me, hey, call the police all the time. Right, and, I, right, and I've right. instructed all of them to, to call the police. Now, I mean, I, I was there that night. I wasn't there when the incident happened. And um, I know the, the couple in question and the, uh, and the other couple, the one couple that caused all the problems, they've been coming in for five years. They never say boo. They, I mean, they're... they're Wonderful, you know. I've, I've never had a problem with. Obviously, first time for everything. But um, and from what I understood is that um, uh, Mike and Trish were there. They were sitting in the middle. I was talking to them. I left about eight o'clock at night. They were fine. Um, I think they stayed for probably another two or three hours. The other couple that was there have been coming in for well. The one gentleman has been coming in for five years, and then he's got a new girlfriend. <clears throat> and uh, supposedly the one boyfriend that was sitting at the table went over to have a few drinks with them. They had a few shots, a few beers together. And um, I, I guess the girl at the table felt slighted and she got jealous and whatever. And yeah, I mean, you know, that's not why I, you're here, though, Dean. You're no, here because no one from the bar called the police. The police. Yeah. Yeah. We, you know, all these little dramas go on all the time. We, we yeah. get that. Yeah. But, yeah. but it happened at the bar from the, from the police report. It wasn't in the back room. It was at the bar. I imagine it was a busy he, night. It's not that big a bar. We're not talking about. Two, yeah, you know. I think he had two bartenders on at that time. I thought there was a second bartender that said she didn't see yeah. you. Yeah, you, you saw him laughing and joking to together or something. So yeah, that that's why you're here. So so reiterate to your staff. Someone gets yeah. hit in the face with a beer <clears throat> bottle. Call the police. You know, because yeah, and I think I know Marty. What with the now that I. Yeah, now I have to get down to the bottom. She told me that uh, she had called the police. The bartender that was on at that time was good friends with the girl that uh, caused the problems. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in, in the other incident, uh, I was, you know, numerous times the police department tried to contact you. And oh, I, called them, I called them back three or four times. Uh, Officer uh, Saeed. And uh, Officer Van Borg, 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 Borg. Because it just Yeah, I, I called and, and then uh, I left them at the bar. I left the uh, the camera chip. Yeah. Right. And, and, and they yeah. picked that up uh, right. both times. In fact, I think they still have one, but I don't know if it's going to, you know, cover it. I, I have three cameras, two in the front, one in the back. Yeah. In this particular instance, uh, you know, there again, um, I mean, I, you know, you get embarrassed by it, and then the, it just shows you how people don't appreciate. I set up a nice Christmas party for them. It was their Christmas party and 75th 
anniversary for their company. I had them two, three years ago, no problems. Then um, they cause some problems with some people up front. There again, the girls go at it again, and then one thing leads to another. And then one of the employees jumped on my, my bartender's back, and he finally punched him in the back of the head. And then Eddie called the, uh, called the police department on that. Yeah, it's, uh, uh, I mean, you talking about 40, 40 to 50 year old people. That, you know, yeah, and they're like, adults. Well, know, see, that's like, what I'm saying. We, we read these reports, and I can't believe. You know, I don't know. I have an arc. Bars are getting more and more violent, and 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 it's it's that's why I mean, it's, that's just, it's, like, it's unbelievable, um, Mr. Uh, Shapleski. Yeah. I mean, I got I got an older crowd. Right. I mean, my crowd is yeah. uh, thirty to eighty years old, and you know, it just yeah. seems like yeah, you know, I'm there every day. Now I'm not there late at night, which yeah. is you know, yeah. but my my bartenders are there to. They should be using good judgment. I tell them to card, card all the time, call the police. Like I said, um, you know, not that this makes any difference. I think I've had uh, three or four problems in the five years that I've been there. Now I had two in one week, and it's kind of embarrassing. I mean, it is embarrassing, yeah. you know. Yeah, and, and, you know, some of them, I mean, some of them are unavoidable because it's just a person coming in, but, other, you know, other ones can't. You know, other ones can be avoided. So, see, it, it says right here that in the case will remain open uh, in order to give space, space or rarest an opportunity to follow up with me. So, according to this, and when was this dated? 12 20 14, you know, there was no follow up. So, should we call them up on this, or is this. I, old called, or? I called them back. I called Officer Saeed back. I called uh, at least him twice, and I called. I think I even talked to one of the detectives one time, and I talked to uh, Officer Van Borg, 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 Borger. I think he's on second shift. Borgard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, three to eleven or something like that. Should he? I would never. I would never not call back. Should he try to contact him again, or? Yeah, I would think so. I mean, it's obviously, in the report, it was saying that he, they were making numerous attempts, and then you're. It sounded like you're making yourself unavailable. No, that's what, that that's, is. What and, and it might have been. They were really calling me. <laughs> It was a they were calling me later on at night. Usually, I I go to bed by nine, ten o'clock when I leave that bar every day. I'm just I'm kind of exhausted, and then I'm you know. And they were calling me later, and I would call them back in the morning and leave a message. And then probably at that time they were gone because they were on the second or third. So, have you ever made contact with the officer? No. Have you spoken to them? I have not spoken to them. No. So you see. You there? You are there during the day or something? We're yeah, I'm always there. You know, from ten until five, six, seven, eight o'clock at night. Can you make a point at him? Maybe have him contact him so, mm -hmm. so we can get that squared away because it, <clears throat> it was a while back. So, but is, uh, is there anything further on this? Do I have a motion? Five. Let's see. I got to see what numbers there again. Fifteen uh, and sixteen. Uh, no, fourteen and fifteen. I move. To place number fourteen and fifteen on file. Second. Fourteen is yeah, a uh, bartender's license. Yeah, 15 it's and it's 16. fifteen and sixteen. Yeah, fifteen and sixteen. Uh, motion is for fifteen and sixteen to place on file. And I still second. <laughs> I must have misnumbered the jackets. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I'm two, sitting here at fourteen and fifteen. Two number eight. Two number eight. Two number eight. Two number eight. Oh, that probably that's probably his word. Yeah. yeah. Two number eight. Yes. Uh, so I have a motion and a, and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah. Appreciate it. Take it easy, man. Don't okay. follow up with the phone calls, though. Oh, yeah. Get a hold of the officers, please. Vincent Lorenzo. Lozano. Pardon me? Lozano. 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 That's all right. Everybody here saying that. Yeah, I put an R in there. And it's, is it Vincente? Or Vincente, correct. Vincente. Okay. Let them call me Vince because they can pronounce Vincente. <laughs> Hey, hey, you're getting around good. Yes. <laughs> first of all, I want to apologize for not showing up the first time. I had an appointment with a guy with a knife at the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> he did good. Uh, you know why you're here? Yes, sir. I received a copy of a, of a complaint or of the letter of the, the officer who filled out. Mm -hmm. And it was sent to, uh, to the house. And that was the second time I heard about it. I heard about it in the early part or late part of the December. Of the incident. Okay, now we have we have on here the establishment owner is Lorenzo Jr. In actuality, I am the the owner. He's the one that's was doing the administration part and whatnot. 
Okay. He is not a bartender. He he cooks at times. So he doesn't have a bartender's license? No, I don't. Huh? Okay, well, were you here that night or was he there that night? He was that there to, uh, to clean the, the bar. But uh, if I may, Go ahead. we had the, this lady, this Tracy. She used to be the wannabe owner of the place. She could not come up with the money to buy the place when it was up for sale. She wanted to borrow the money from the owners to buy the place, so obviously they couldn't do it. We bought the place, and of course, she was mad at us for <coughs> buying it. And then she lives two houses down. Mm. We have had nothing but problems with her. I mean, we've tried to communicate with her, to talk to her. She's coming to the bar, throwing the bottles on top of the bar, and says, you dumb Mexicans keep these bottles away from my yard. Our bottles, maybe, I don't know. Wait a minute, time out. So you, you're ta this is the complainant? the lawyer. Right, that So you're telling me when the police went there at 3 o'clock in the morning, there wasn't four people in there drinking? There, no, yes, I'm telling you that. They were not drinking. There was bottles in the, uh, not bottles, but well, you know, it's, there wasn't, at four, two or three o'clock in the morning, it's not supposed to be anybody in the bar that doesn't have business being there. They were cleaning the, uh, the bar. Four right. people. Right. They volunteered to help out that night. Because we have people. <laughs> so do you know the law says you're supposed to keep a list of all your employees with their social security number and your phone number on the premises at all times, so the police can verify that these people are actually your employees when this happens? No, sir, did yeah, not know you didn't that. know that. No. So, yeah. so these people on your payroll, you're paying them cash. Okay. Did well, they all get W two forms? They, they got a, a, a ship for a for a free beer for the next day. So oh, they basically, they were friends or something. They weren't. Right. You, you weren't really. F, sorry. You weren't paying them. They're, they're not, not employees. Regular work no. employees. They're not employees. They're so not then employees. they then they can't no. be in there. Then they can't be even if they're helping out. I was not aware of that, Mr. Chairman. Alderman Barzer. Also in the report. Um, it, it says contact mint was made with the owner, and this is as well as the three persons still inside the bar drinking alcohol. Lozano, am I pronouncing that right? Correct. Admitted to serving alcohol after the bar was closed. Citations were mailed. Okay. So, so they were drinking. Yeah. It's not that they just had some bottles laying around like mm -hmm. you said. Well, they again, were drinking. I'm sorry, that's what I was told. I, well, the, the, I, right here, they, yeah. they admitted to it. It's not yeah, like it's, on, a police it's on the police report. Admitted to serving alcohol after the bar was closed. Okay, and okay, and obviously they're guilty. Then. Are they? They're all fired. I take it. Well, <laughs> sort of, kind of. One, the, one of the ladies that was there, she wants a full-time job to be a, a cleaning lady there. We've talked about it. We have not decided anything, and now I'm doing the administrative work of the bar. So you're you're actually physically going into the bar and making sure everything's right. running straight. I am there now. I'm also, by the way, uh, I drive for USA Coach part time. So I drive in the morning, and then I drive to six o'clock at night, and then I come over and open the bar. I'm not doing it right now, but mm -hmm. make I, sure. I mean, I'm talking about driving. When the bar closes, yes, everything has to be off the bar. Everything has to be spilled out. You can't. You, you can't yeah. even have a customer in that bar. They got to be out. They got to be gone, yeah. and everything's got to be cleared off that bar at okay. bar closing. There cannot be a glass sitting there with beer in it yes. that you're ready to clean. That's illegal. Yes, it's got to be gone, dumped. Good enough, Mr. Chair. Hold on, Wago. Who was bartending that night? My daughter, but she left. Uh, she left at two. She left. So at there two. was no bartender either. So there was. She left at 2 a.m. when the bar closed. Right after that. And she left your her brother, your son, I, and, well, I don't and, think he was and these three people there. Right. I mean, who was there? There was it another was lady named Angie. That, Dustin, uh, Samantha, R Rosalind. Rosalind. Yeah. yeah there was but, never, I, but none of them, none of them were bartenders. No, that doesn't matter. It's after all hours. Right. <laughs> right. True. I'm sure, but yeah. You, well, you understand the license to serve alcohol comes with a lot of rules and restrictions that come along with it. Right. And this isn't that. tiddlywinks. This is serious stuff. It, you know, the the complainant claims that this goes on all the time. That's not true. Okay. Let, so, so let's say it doesn't. Let's say it's never happened before. Okay. okay. But it's never going to happen again, right? That is correct. Okay. I can promise you on that. Okay. Well, and and the thing about it is that you have this person that that is not happy with you because of whatever reason, so you know that any time something is going to happen over there, she's going to be calling the police. I know. So, you, so you're kind of underneath the microscope here, so you really have to watch it. You know, watch your hours and watch everything. So. She watches our Facebook uh, page, and whenever we're going to have an event, 
but she does is park her car and has her neighbors park their cars right in front. Mm -hmm. And their parking structure in the back is totally empty and everything's mm -hmm. locked up in the front. No parking is for whoever, yeah. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's just I one of those people, it's one of the things that, it, that uh, put up in life, not just in business. You know, but people are like that, so. We've lost so much money so far that I don't even know if I'm going to reopen it again at the, at the end yeah, of well, July. So. Yeah, they're tough in those places. I'm trying. I'm something. trying to do good. You know, we've done a few good things. We've had fundraisers for a kid that was beat up almost half to death in Milwaukee. Mm -hmm. uh, the detective, police detective, was uh, the guy with a even birth. Mm -hmm. TC. Yeah. I forgot her last name. Mr. Chairman. But okay. Over. You know why you're here. You know what went wrong. Yes. Do not do that again. Do not come in front of us again. That there's Listen. people in that bar after closing <clears throat> with alcohol in the bar or whether they're drinking or, it or without not. Without alcohol. In the bar. Yeah. That doesn't matter. I'll give you a okay. promissory note that it will not happen again. You, you okay. Just your word is good. Thank if we you. don't see you again, we'll be happy. Do I have a motion? Move the place on file. Second. Any, okay. any further discussion? May I ask? Sure. I've heard that a few times. What does that mean? What is what the mean? place on file. That so means the report is just going to be put on file. Right. And if other incidents no come action. up, no yeah, action no is taken, action nothing happened, it's over. But, but, it's, but it's on your record for right. your bar. It's on your record. And as we see other ones come through, every every time that old one comes back up. Piling up. So they start piling up. And if we see one that's in a year, mm -hmm. we have a problem. See, we've never had problems in the, at the bar before. First one. So, well, we don't want any. So. Pretty major one, though. Okay. Yes, I understand. Now, I know that. But again, Okay. Apologies. Yep. So. Okay. Uh, uh, what are you here for? Did we? Uh, we didn't vote on it, did we? We didn't vote. Oh, we didn't. I'm sorry. Uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Be opposed. Good night. Good night. Well, you're the only other person here, so I'll move you ahead of any. I got this letter that I was supposed to be here just regarding my new facility. And you are who? Sure. From the old shaky. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. We would have Charles Hastings, Ronald Nellis. Yeah, we're supposed to have four. Yeah, we just want to know the status. What's going on with yep. the place? Oh, just yeah, just uh, you know, because you can't just take a license and hold it for all this time. You got to, you know. Uh, in fact, what is the? How long can you keep it closed? Don't you have to be days, open? Yeah. yeah, you're supposed to be open so so many times during it, but. Where, where's what's your status? What's going on? Well, oh, I'm just uh, in the process. We had to do basically. I had to do an updated uh, occupancy load. The city didn't have <coughs> the proper information from when the bathrooms were redone years ago, so I had to have my architect just redo it, mm -hmm. and uh, it was sent to the fire marshal. So hopefully, that'll take. When take you planning on open? What's uh, what's your goal to open? My goal. Well, now it's around May first. Hope to be open by May first. Mm -hmm. That motorhome still sitting there. No. Thank you. No. And what are you going to be putting in there again? What kind of business? Like a <laughs> upper scale pub place. What's the name of it? Uh, the Choice Eatery and Entertainment. Okay. So when you're driving down the street, you see The Choice? I expect <laughs> to see you all there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's got to be opened. Uh, right. we, we, we tried to stop there many times, but... Okay. Uh, and somebody yeah, wants to know the popcorn wagons. Gonna okay, that's it, that's basically why we yeah, asked. That's the why you're here because we yeah. need to update. Yeah. We had four of them that have licenses out there, and they're not doing anything yeah, with yeah. them. They're yeah. closed. And and we're over quota, so we'd you know, like these licenses. Like, that's all. That's all it was for. So if there's any other problems, you know, you contact us. You know, as far as you know, it's just we can just update us. But hopefully, you'll be open by that date. All right. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Thanks okay. for coming in. You bet. Thank you. Okay. Uh, let's go to number seventeen then. Uh, probably 18 years. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is the Junkin' Duck. Now, what you're saying is that they dissolved? Well, the, no corporation. the corporation was dissolved. It was administratively yeah. dissolved, yes. Yeah. And so the license is issued to no one. <laughs> it's still issued. It's kind of murky in that sort of area, but under the law, they're in violation of Wisconsin state statutes. And per the law, only the only business they can be doing is liquidating their business and basically closing up. So... So they, are you trying to say they can't be open right now? <coughs> well, they basically, what I think what they needs to happen is probably to be good for issuance of someone's a complaint because they need to get into compliance because they're in violation of Wisconsin state law right now. They're operating, in a sense, illegally under the LLC statutes. Mm -hmm. So I'm perhaps finding out what's going on with the so, corporation. Okay, but we uh, last time there was a, someone here that was going to take it over. But just the just the license, and she didn't 
No, they were no, just they were supplying another agent. Yeah. It was still right. the same LLC. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is that, was she that didn't one? understand what she was getting. <laughs> yeah. Right. It's so that was. I think that was placed on hold. I don't know. If yeah. We yeah. We didn't do anything on it. Yeah. yeah. And the it's attorney hustling called me today. Requested another date. Um, he faxed a, a, an appearance letter. Um, I, I contacted, called him back to see what exactly was going on. If they were filing an annual report or getting in compliance, and he didn't call me back today. So I'm not sure. So you want to get a summons complaint on this? Well, it's up to the committee, but based on all the it, uh, the problems that are going on there, that may be appropriate. Well, the, the problems in just a disarray. We don't know who's running the place. Right. You know, there's all those other things out there. So, uh, so do I have a motion to send us to someone's complaint. So moved. Second. Okay. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. We oppose. Uh, I'll just leave that blank up there. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that's not okay. Uh, then we have Anthony Bowles. Oh, no, just checked. He's, he doesn't have to get <laughs> Now this is uh, this is for the Cold Stone. Cold Stone Creamery. They were served. He was served with a summons and complaint. Um, the personal property taxes have not been paid, and I believe the it's been closed since mid December. So next basic, step. Based on the non-appearance, then the facts are considered to be true. And you can vote whether to suspend, um, revoke, or not renew their license. But they're out of business anyways. Well, the thing is, they can reopen if we don't take away their license. Oh, okay. Okay. What's well, just a, I won't say just a food license. Isn't something else in that spot, though? No, not no, yet. No, it's still empty. It's, it's like the Starbucks. So the proper there. motion would be if we want to. Well, we're going to. We'll be we, just, I'm just gonna we just vote, uh, make a motion to, to revoke. revoke the license. So moved. But do you come back with it? We'll do findings of facts on that. Finding, yeah. I'll put it on for the February third, yeah. I believe, or maybe the next one after that. I don't know if that'll be enough to turn around time, but I'll put it on the agenda for the findings of fact. I think we're going to have a our meeting prior to the council meeting. That particular one, not the next council meeting, the, the one 17th? after seventeenth. Uh -huh. okay. Might even be a hearing. Yeah, because the third the were short, right? It's the yeah. Hearing, yeah. yeah. So something like this will take us two Jerry's minutes. Stone and Mickey's gone. I think on the third. So okay. that might be a good time to add that. Who made, okay, who made the motion on this? I, I made the motion, I think. Uh, and, uh, White uh, wrote. Yeah. I wrote. I Somebody over there was. Second it to. Marty. Okay. Yeah, and so again, Cold Stone Creamery is, is the only ones oh. that were still and outstanding it, it, per this. Yes, uh, the other one, everyone else has signed agreements. Oh, signed agreements. Yeah. Not necessarily yeah. paid up, but yeah. no. signed yes. agreements on a payment plan. Yes, and okay. if they default in a payment plan, I will let the committee know. Okay. Okay, uh, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 So that's so then now we have number 19, which is probably 20 on your guys. Yes. <laughs> uh, uh, that, these are all the ones you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. We'll so, okay. so we just want to place this on file. I think placing on file is fine. I can just revisit the issue when it comes to license renewal time if they haven't paid up. Move the place on file. Second. Second. Roll, get second. Okay. Any further discussion? You just All in favor? <laughs> Aye. 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 Carries. Uh, and then we have the, well, we have the other license. What are we going to do with all the other people that didn't show up? Ask them to come in again. You want to come in? And, and then after that, in. we start revocation. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got, uh, well, we got Just Mary's just walking around. Mm -hmm. uh, Chaz Hastings, bottoms up, is that what he's going to call it? Uh, word on the street is he might be selling it to somebody else. I'm yeah. not sure. Which one? Uh, bottoms up. Well, what was it called? Right, so it was Night, Night Court. Court. Yeah. So, so bottoms up might be being sold, and choice we just tailgaters had. just went to TNT. Yeah. yeah. So that's changed. So the only thing about it there's is just Mary's. I understand she, they sold the place. I think, and mm -hmm. she's looking for another location. That's my understanding. What I've heard. Okay, so we'll just call them in again. Yep. Um, oh, right here. Okay. That just okay. That leaves number twenty-one. Uh, discussions. Uh, the consumption of malt beverages by passengers and a commercial quadricycle. Mm. Is this something we project. talked about earlier and bring it back, or is there has there been has someone? We, it was on the agenda once before, but we didn't have time to discuss it. Okay. So I, if I read this correctly. <coughs> There can't be people drinking it. No, there can't be people drinking it, Mr. Chair. If I could, go ahead. There's man. a there's a there's a business in Milwaukee. They do they have a bunch of these on. Uh, I don't even know what's called. Pedal Pedal Pub Pedal Tavern, and they're 
and this law is written very specifically to allow this kind of business to operate. This isn't individuals on bicycles. This is specialized equipment that's built. It's a pedal tavern. It's like right. a giant picnic table on wheels. With, you know, it's got to have four wheels and at least twelve seats, twelve or sixteen seats. Is what we're going to put it in there. But uh, wow. um, you see them in tourist places a lot. You know, um, I don't know that if it's. I don't know that this business model has a, someone approached us about it, or we were. I think we were just going to talk about it because the state did this enabling legislation that would allow us to do this. Um, I can tell you the 1030 restriction. I don't think Milwaukee's enforcing that. But mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Chairman, so all all these rules are basically for the person driving. The no, the pilot. Well, there's some rules about how much each individual can bring on that they they can't come from a caterer. It can only be beer, you know, um, and it's like a 32 ounce restriction or 30 ounces per person. But that, but these things typically go from tavern to tavern, so you could reload, so to speak. You know, you know the question is, uh, do we have a demand for this here, Mr. Uh, Chairman? Yeah. Only bars. A couple things. Uh, first of all, I I haven't had anybody. Have you had anybody come in asking for a permit for one of these? Okay, that's number one. Number two. I just don't think we have the streets that um, are, are uh, that enough. this is going to work on. Right. Uh, we have Greenfield Avenue that's extremely popular, which is way too busy with traffic. We have National Avenue that would be. We have Highway Hundred. Well, they go down Water Street, in Milwaukee, and Water Street's yeah. Yeah. a little Not different. Greenfield Avenue, Big yeah, Street. Yeah. Um, a little different, and we don't have to pass no, an ordinance to, to allow these. Yeah. So if we do yeah. nothing. They're not allowed, right? And so my opinion is, is let's not even get involved in this. If somebody comes in front of us, we'll hear them, and then at that point, we could pass it or not pass it. But yeah. I mean, well, why we? Well, I mean, I, but if somebody why, comes why in front of us, why make them legal when nobody's here? And I, I, I thought it's the opposite. I think they. I'm just looking at. Or we have to make them I illegal. They're, they're, they're legal, legal unless we make them illegal. No, I thought unless the municipalities adopted ordinances under 125.105a. I think it's that. I just don't think we have to see what this says in here. It says a municipality made by ordinance prohibit the consumption of fermented malt beverages by passengers on a commercial quadricycle within the municipality. So, but, but well, if someone has a quadricycle, the they can just drive it on the street. Yes. We're not towards there. They're right? not drinking or anything. Well, a commercial quadricycle is not like the little side by side bikes you see people rent. These are the right, right, 12, right. 16 passengers. Right. But but if somebody wanted to not drink, but just. They can, they they can use it on the somebody? street. It's a legal vehicle on the street, apparently. No. So we're not banning quadricycles. It's we're just, just all about drinking on them. Yeah. Correct. You can and, prohibit the consumption of fermented all batteries. And the state says they can drink on them. Unless we, we say other way. I thought it was the other way around, but that's, a, yeah, that's, that's why we have a lawyer here. That's why we have a lawyer here. Must be right here. Well, good. Let's do that. Well, then, <laughs> then we'd be allowing them. Then we're allowing them. Yeah, it haven't hasn't been a problem. Hasn't been an issue. Yeah. We want to be open. Well, we might see one like State community. Fair Week. We might see one like there's this car show. There's a new car show coming in June. At the fair park, mm. that'd be the only time I think we'd see it. I don't. I haven't heard anybody in the business. And they say, are not cheap. They're not cheap. I I looked at them. They're not cheap. I thought. Of, I, I, <laughs> my wife says you think too much. Uh, I, we looked. I thought. Yeah. You know, I thought about it. But yeah, they, like perfect uh, place for one would be um, a la carte, where the streets closed. No, it wouldn't be because all cards full of people. There's yeah. no room for them. Yeah. Well, to me, that would be the, <laughs> yeah. A chip, chips with their big. Like, <laughs> no, not all cards. A tourist area somewhere yeah. where well, there's. Well, you know, you think you see one, you know, like the beach Water town Street. or yeah, yep, yeah. beach you town, know, Florida right. somewhere. Yeah, yeah, and they and they tend to be like stag at parties. All right, so what is in front of us tonight? Yeah. But, but, my, but my my question though is what, that the, does a if, if everybody to serve alcohol has to have a license. If they're serving alcohol, do you mean a bar? No, has they're to not own serving this? alcohol. They're bringing their own. They bring their own. Bring they buy own. a can of beer in the bar and bring it. I thought that's illegal. No, not an open can of beer you can take out of a bar. No, a well, they're saying that the, they made a special subsection that doesn't um, count as a public place, so you can bring that in there. Yeah. It's, okay. It's not the public. Place. But you can't bring an open one. It has to be Illegal closed. Well, you're on it, closed. You can open it. You can't leave a bar with an open intoxicant. Right. You can leave with. You can buy a six pack. You can buy a half barrel of beer in a bar. Take it out. But you can only have up to six 
cans or something. Thirty-six fluid ounces total. per person. Per person. Per person. Like Thirty-six said, per person. And his whole time. Well, then you can reload too. <laughs> well, I, I don't know how you would police that with you know. You're not reloading. Yeah, right. no. But, you can't. but, but the ten thirty. There's a ten thirty p.m. restriction. You know. And so I'm what's sure, I'm sure the about. police department would like to, you yeah, know, these things us. driving all over the place. Oh, yeah. and, all right. and so they're legal already. What is in front of us? What is, what's the jacket? Basically to inform us, I think, uh, just a discussion item on. Okay, move uh, the place on file. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anybody opposed? Uh, I believe that is all. Mr. Chairman. No boy. <laughs> no, no. New guy. Uh oh, now what? Yeah, no, just to follow up. House. Thank you. Just to follow up to our discussion of can you bring a handgun into a ah. tavern? Uh, the my my search on my phone has told me uh, if you have a valid concealed carry permit in Wisconsin, yes, you may bring a handgun into a tavern. Um, however, you may not consume any alcoholic beverages, and you may not be under the influence. Of any type of alcohol. Beverage. Now I was going to correct the record as I found it on the DOJ. You can't. It can't be open carried as well. Right, it has, it's not to, be, it has to be concealed. Right. Yeah. So, so in a sense, all the bars like is right. Out. If you see a gun, it's not concealed. <laughs> and so that is true. So yes, then, so then you would be calling. Because <laughs> <Yes. laughs> it's not concealed. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, just, yeah. Uh, There's some things that aren't complicated enough. I mean, talk about complication. I'm, I got my jacket on and it swings open yeah. a little bit. Now I, you see it now, so now it's illegal because now I can see it. All right. Do we need a move, motion oh, yeah. to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? All right. Nice hanging out with you.